A video that appears to have been made for Tesla sales staff has been posted on Reddit showing exactly how the Model Y third row is accessed and how much cargo space it takes up. It surprises no one that these seats appear small and difficult to get into. However, Tesla does seem to have been clever in how they fit the third row into the back of a Model Y. I'm gonna let the video play as it was posted then comment as we watch along. That way you can still form your own opinions based upon what you see and not just on what I think about it. Model Y provides seating for up to three passengers in the second row, and if your Model Y has a third row, two additional passengers. Here's our first look at the third row, similar to the photos already released by Tesla, but I think this shows two fairly normal width seating positions with no center armrests. The shoulder belts are built into the seat backs, so they will stay out of the way when a third row is folded flat for cargo. I think that's a very nice feature. If your Model Y has five seats, you can easily adjust the second row seat back with these handles. This one moves the seat backs for both the left and center seats, while the handle on the right side moves the right seat back only. This isn't new information for anyone familiar with the current Model Y configuration, but it's important to keep these functions in mind because they're actually different in the second row of the seven seater. Pull and hold the handle to move the seat back to the desired position, or pull briefly to fold flat to maximize cargo space. You can also fold the second row seats by pulling the corresponding switch, located on the left side of the rear trunk area. The middle seat has a button that allows its seat back to be folded independently from the outboard seats. As you'll see, this video does not show whether or not the center of the seven seat second row folds like this, but I think it's fair to assume that it does due to it having the exact same lever shown here. If your Model Y is equipped with seven seats, second row seat adjustments are a little different. To slide the second row seats forward or backward, lift the bar located under the seat. The center seat moves with the left seat. As expected, the second row is mounted to rails, allowing passengers to adjust legroom as required. However, this video only shows the two extreme positions and doesn't show how much adjustment there is in between. Every other second row seat that adjusts like this that I've ever been in does have multiple positions, and there isn't any reason to suggest differently about the Model Y second row. Use this control to adjust or fold the second row seat backs. That lever doesn't even exist in the five-seater, even though I think it's a more sensible location for recline adjustment. Remember, the five-seater has a recline adjustment lever paired with the seat release lever at the shoulders, which I guess is done for technical reasons, but it certainly isn't intuitive to someone new to the vehicle. To get into the third row, simply pull the release here, pull to slide the seat forward, and continue pulling to pitch the seat forward. This is why. That lever on the seven-seater's second row unlatches the rear of the seat from the rails while pitching the whole seat forward. This gives us our first look at the opening you'll need to crawl through to get to the third row. It's not just going to be tight for the person who's going to sit in the back, but if you're having to help a kid strap in or anything like that, from this angle, it looks like you're going to have a tough time. To return the second row seats to their seating position, the second angle doesn't really make it look much better. It still seems like even a kid is going to have to turn sideways to get in, and a parent is going to have to bend sideways to lean in. Push the seat rearward until you hear a click, and continue pushing down until you hear a second click. The third row has seating for two, adjustable headrests for added comfort, and two USB. The headrest does have a lot of adjustment to it, but at its highest point, it's likely to be very close to the back glass. I think that should be your red line in the sand, so to speak. If a passenger's head touches the back glass when pressed hard into the headrest, it's not necessarily going to be a safe place for them to sit. But the headrest looks like it's going to be pretty protective in a collision otherwise. What we don't see in this video is the gap extending the headrest is going to create that isn't even necessarily right between the passenger's shoulders. That's Still might be perfectly comfortable, but it does seem like something you'd want to test out to see if it works for your intended third row passengers. See charge ports to allow your passengers to charge their mobile devices. This shows the two USB-C ports the third row has, but it also shows the two cup holders that have no bolsters whatsoever. Forget putting drive through drinks in that. Anything you put in there better be pretty crush proof or it's going to collapse from an errant thigh smash whether you have one or two kiddos in the back. To fold a third row seat, pull the handle located on the inner corner of the seat back. To return a seat back to its upright position, pull it up until it latches into place. 
Is my five foot two wife gonna be able to reach the seat backs that easily to pull them back up? And if not, what is the method she's going to have to use? That's what we'd be testing out at a showroom before ordering a Model Y with a third row. Your Model Y has plenty of storage space in the trunk thanks to the lack of a fuel tank or exhaust system. Though the third row doesn't technically fold flat, I do like how it matches the angle and flows into the backs of the second row seats. This will make loading and unloading big stuff easier, and it'll make a more comfortable sleeping service if you're someone who likes to camp in the back of your Tesla like I do. It has deep pockets on both sides of the trunk and additional storage under the load floor. If you have a five-seater, you have an extra storage area under this load floor. Both load floors can stand upright in place. What we don't get to see is what the cargo area looks like with the third row upright. The video implies that the rear sub trunk is the same in both the five seat and seven seat configurations, but even still, it would be nice to see how much the third row leans over the sub trunk area and what the remaining cargo volume might be. This is really important to know because you aren't just gonna be hauling six passengers around. You're also going to need to haul everybody's stuff along with them. To learn even more about your seats, check out the on-screen owner's manual. This is actually where the leaked video ends, showing the seven seat configuration in the in-car owner's manual. A quick look online shows the same old five seater owner's manual on Tesla's website, so it's still too early to glean any additional information about the third row that way. <laughs> I'm sitting in the third row of our 2005 Lexus LX470, which is massive. Even in this big SUV, I'm cramped. My knees are hard up against the seat in front of me. I can't tell you whether or not a seven seat Model Y is gonna meet your needs, but I think it's fair to say that it's probably a good idea to wait until you can see one in person yourself before you place an order for one. Tesla's website says that if you order a Model Y with a third row today, you might get it in as early as two weeks. So I imagine we'll start seeing videos from buyers, maybe even earlier than that, from people who live near the factory that already placed their orders. We ordered our Tesla Model 3 about a month before I could actually drive one myself, but we were pretty confident in what we were getting because they've been out for about six months, or maybe a little bit longer than that in the hands of employees. And there are tons of videos showing people very happy with the car, with the parts that were important to us, and we were fine with the things that people didn't like. There are no such videos of a seven seat Model Y out there right now, so it's still a big mystery. The seven seat Model Y might be the best thing since chicken nuggets for a family with three kids or more, or for your clown school carpool. But with these hitting the streets in just a few weeks, I can't imagine why anybody would place an order for one today. There are just too many usability questions left unanswered with answers that will be immediately apparent by the end of the month. If you're interested in getting a seven seat Model Y for yourself or any Tesla, be sure to use my Tesla owner's referral link. When you do, you'll get free supercharging. Full details on a Tesla owner's referral program can be found at the link itself. Be sure to subscribe for more breaking news on Teslas. I really appreciate you watching the Tech of Tech and I hope to see you next time.